Ba-bum. I remember everything really clearly. It was Tuesday the 16th, and I was just looking up the impact of different industries on the world. It was at 1231, exactly. You know, the leather industry, the wool industry, the old industry, all these. And I was really ready to start purchasing sustainably produced products. You know, state free, fair trade, no chemicals, ecologically produced. So I went to the supermarket to gather all my favorite things. And there is one thing that I really like in the morning, which is a cup of coffee. So when I came to the coffee section in the supermarket, just looking for some fresh beans, there were a total of 15 rats. So I was just thinking, like, what about the farmers? What about the country of origin? None of them took the stakeholders equally into account. There seemed to have been an endless amount of people in the supermarket when I was buying the coffee. And I just kept thinking about the damage. All this damage. Are you okay to continue? Yeah, that's fine. The damage these people do while buying coffee that is not really pursuing any real sustainable goal and literally just filling the pockets of these companies and not the ones of the people that actually make the coffee. You have no idea what these companies would be capable of if they would actually put their mind to change in the industry. But they just don't want to. It's not that we don't want to. It's just easier this way. It's just simply always been this way. That's just the tip of the iceberg. They are more worried about covering it all up, making nice marketing campaigns. The other day, however, I was at my local Ica. Yeah, so I must say it hasn't been easy trying to balance this value chain better. Not only providing uh, fair trade pay, but also make an impact in the country of origin and here in Sweden. And I found this brand called Broch Coffee. Non-diluted, organic, cold brew. And they make over 600% more impact. Anakin, pick up the phone. So yeah, by roasting at the country of origin, we are able to have more impact on countries like Ethiopia and Uganda. But like she said, 600% more. And we're still able to create value in Sweden too, by creating a high quality coffee products, starting with cold brew. So yeah, it's really been a first in that regard and has made life for me, personally, so much easier. Like, just being able to go to the shop and buy sustainable coffee. And bear in mind, I was usually barely able to even find cold brew anywhere. We source our coffee with certified partners, so we are able to trace the beans and ensure that a part of the value chain that is currently underpaid is compensated properly. That part is what we call the origin country. Just deal with it. The coffee industry is never going to change. So yeah, essentially we are changing the industry. What we're dealing with here are some really sick companies. 
I mean, who does take care of the origin country? The coffee industry. With a change we really deem needed, while still offering you the best tasting cold brew instantly available here in Sweden. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Apologies for it being a bit of a long one, but we brought a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this one and we're very, very happy with the results. My name is Jim and together with this gentleman I formed Bra Coffee. Yeah, so hey, my name is Dominic uh, and we are the Bra Coffee. So what we are essentially doing is we are bringing a cold brew coffee to the Swedish market, which is currently not there. All that is uh, at the moment in the market is really diluted with milk or sugars. But what we do differently is we source the bean directly um, with the help of our partner uh, in Uganda. So we know the farmers, but we also roast in Uganda, which means we leave much more value in the country of origin. And that is something quite unique. Yeah, so Dole, Dole and I have actually been working together since October of last year. Uh, we met uh, in a bar and then from there on got to talk about coffee. We met up for coffee and I've been collaborating with each other ever since. It's been a lovely collaboration. Um, and yeah, it's been really, really fruitful for both of us so far. So that's it. That's Bar Coffee and that's us. We hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.